Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your April 2018 mid-monthly readings. All right, so let's get started. I have shuffle and prayed over the cards off camera. We give the cards a quick shuffle and then we get started. We'll start with love. Uh, Aries, in the comment section, drop where you are viewing from, where you live, because I, I plan on doing some traveling. Maybe I can meet up with some of my followers. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. So, if you're feeling moved to tell me where you are, maybe I'll be in your city, your town, or close near, close by you. You know, so you can come in. Maybe we'll do a personal reading for you, face to face. All right. So let's go. All right. Thank you for the messages for Aries. True, accurate messages to govern and guide their lives, ultimately bringing them back to our Creator in prayer and in supplication. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the this, this star in reverse, the Hierophant, All right. The tower in reverse, all right, okay. Presently, five of swords. The past, the hermit in reverse, near future. The Two of Swords. Your power is the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Empress or the Emperor in reverse, external to you. Hmm. Hopes and fears. Four of Wands in reverse. Outcome. Strength. All right. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Look at this Aries. It looks like some of you were feeling off spiritually. That there was no spiritual alignment here with the star in reverse and then the hierophant upright. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Aries, like yourself. Virgo, Leo, I mean, if whatever, if for those who need to have a specific sign attached to this, there's also hasn't been a healing, a restoration of soul here. Oh, and it's, it's because you're trying to avoid a tower moment, a moment of actual physical, mental, emotional breakdown. So that you can be rebuilt back up into the person that you need to be for maybe this traditional role, which would be the hierophant. You haven't let healing take place. It's just a lot of fighting, fighting the flow of, can be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fighting the flow of. And fighting yourself and fighting against this tower. You're avoiding it. You're avoiding the tower. You're not letting it happen. There's a reason why all of this energy is happening. In the past, you came out of the hermit mode. You said enough with me being introspective and me being reflective. I'm coming out. You could be dealing with a Virgo in reverse. You may not be making solid decisions in regards to being reflective and, and seeing what your part is or was in a situation moving forward to a swords this is libra um you need to make a decision you know that you need to make a decision but a decision is not being made here your power eight of cups in reverse you're not walking away or not checking out emotionally. Not walking away from what no longer fulfills you. You're staying. You're staying in a situation that's not even fulfilling. External to you is the, the emperor in reverse. Now, this is a real stern, cold, stoic, my way, the highway controlling could be abusive abuse of 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 um power type of person or, or entity or situation 
it's external to you. That could be another Aries too. Manipulative. Just, uh, the, just they just abuse the power that they have with you. Like some people know your soft spot. They know your weakness. They know that they can say this or do that, and you know you'll move. This person knows that, and and they're abusing their power with you. That's why in the outcome you have strength. You gotta take back your power. Be strong in dealing with said person. Hopes and fear. It's definitely a fear to have your home situation, home life, relationship turned upside down, literally. To have stability stripped from you via a relationship, home, um, job situation. Just stability being stripped, being taken, being altered, being uh, someone coming after it. And the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it's definitely about what you've already established. I'm hearing old paradigms. You won't let this old paradigm fall away with the tower in reverse. You won't let this old way of thinking, this old way of doing things, being combative and a fighter, or just a fighter at any cost. You don't care if you win or lose. You just want to win. You won't let that old paradigm die within your relationships, within yourself. That's what I'm saying. There's no healing. There's no restoration. There's no rebirth. In maybe a marriage situation, something traditional, something longstanding, you're not governing yourself accordingly with this hierophant. You're not under any spiritual guidance here. You're not trying to get aligned spiritually, or maybe you are, but um, you gotta you gotta let this fall. Whatever that was in you, that fighter warrior spirit, spirit, you have to let it fall because your stability is at jeopardy. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You're not gonna get an offer of someone wanting to have something solid and stable with you because maybe of your attitude. I don't know who this is for. The chariot in reverse. Yeah, you're not going to have any victory. Any forward movement. Because you are not in control of the light and the dark. You go to the dark. You know, it's, you know not saying that in situations it's not, it, it wasn't legitimate for you to stand up for yourself. Because five of swords is sometimes standing up for yourself too. Um... I heard fight or flight, but I don't really feel like it's that. I think it's, I feel like it's, you go into survival mode once you're faced with not getting what you want. Then it's combative. Then it's, well, let me cut you down before you cut me down. You got to try something new, Aries. Two of Pentacles. Somebody might be juggling. I'm juggling this situation, weighing up options here. Page of Swords could be dealing with the younger air sign. Yeah. You gotta let this, this old way of thinking, this old p paradigm shift for you. Because you, I feel like you are causing the upheaval in your, your relationships. There might even be some upheaval from outside part. Like the Hermit is in reverse. Might be dealing with the Virgo who in reverse doesn't make solid decisions. Doesn't really listen to the inner self. Isn't being self-reflective. I know people are throwing this word around like crazy. But a narcissist, you know, just the victim. The Hermit in reverse is the victim because they're not being self-reflective. All right, so let's see what we got for maybe career and finance. I hope that's better, Aries. Sorry about that. Um, basically, from the other spread, what it says is maybe your relationships, some of your relationships, whether they're romantic or friendships or family, may be on the rocks or rocky because you won't, you got to do something different, you know? And that's what that hermit card is about, upright, about being reflective about, okay, how did I act in the past? Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something different. 
because I want a different outcome. But if I keep doing the same thing, I'm going to get the same outcome. You know, that's saying, um, that's insanity. You know, doing the same thing, expecting a different outcome. So you got to be different. You know, and Aries is God of War. That's what you're governed by. You got to stop all of that fighting. Let the fighter spirit die within you. You're, you're avoiding the tower. You're avoiding um, the breakdown so that spirit our creator whomever or whatever you believe in can build you back up rightly eight of air the empress eight of earth nine of fire seven of earth nine of air ten of water all right career looks a lot nicer um there's still some negative thoughts around maybe the work the time you've put into a situation, seven of earth, eight of earth, and you're trying to create abundance, greatness, legacy in your life. And you've been through a lot. Shit, you put in a lot of time. You put in a lot of work. That's your energy, nine of fire. And you're, you're wondering, when is this going to come? Like, you having some of you dealing with low energy. Go get your health check. Low energy metabolism diet uh, metabolism problems and metabolism diet okay <laughs> that's a new one uh yeah some of you do have a metabolism problems get your health checked here and it might be surrounding all of the you know some of you in school the work home work life balance some things that you've invested in you watch you're watching it grow you want this to work that's all i feel is you want this to work but look what's on the bottom of the deck the ten of water the highest level of happiness it's coming it's coming guys queen of water yeah um it's gonna bring you some true emotional fulfillment wow and then the four of fire is behind it some stability so it looks like mm, and then justice nice nice guys i gotta turn that around for you i don't even turn my cars around like that pretty often i don't do that ten of water queen of water four of fire justice nice 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 i'm happy because i'm an aries rising the hard work I have put in, yes, uh, I want it to all pay off. So, career and finance looks really good. Looks really good. You're creating that abundance. You you got some, you know, those those thoughts of how can I make this work? It's going to work. I did this. I did that. No, 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 you know, you're going around, but stay positive. Stay positive because it's all going to work out for you. That's really good. Let's do a spiritual focus. What should Aries be focused on spiritually. Can we tell Aries something about themselves spiritually? What should they be focused on spiritually? Spiritually minded, grounded. What should Aries be focused on? Thank you for the messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. True, accurate messages from our Creator. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What should Aries be focused on? Okay. The messenger of air. Could be an air sign. Or you just giving truth. You might be doing something in haste. Love or this is uh, Gemini. This is um the lover's card. Two of Earth. Ooh. Bottom of the deck, the tower. Yeah. Aries. Aries. This is, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This is definitely love affair. This is two parties. Earth sign, air sign. The tower could be Scorpio too. Um, choices need to be made, and you're weighing up choices. Someone is uh, partaking in 
a love affair or a business relationship or business that they need to give more thought to. The choice needs to be made between two different things. Truth, you learn, truth is going to come either from you or from another party to you. It's going to be in haste too. It may bring about a tower situation, but then the Nine of Cups is here, so maybe you'll get what you want here. Ten of Fire, you can drop the burden. That is whatever it may be. Six of Air, you can move forward. Six of Earth. Some of you waiting for a payout, and then Chariot in the Sun, yeah. Some of you waiting for whatever you're waiting for, and you're weighing up here. All these are upright too. That's good. Um, what you should be focused on spiritually is that you know which way to go. You know what to choose. The two choices or two or more choices have manifest. The two of earth is manifestation. They're here. They're, you know, of those choices. So it's not, you're not in confusion or you're not waiting for another option. Options are here. They've manifest for you. You need to make a solid choice. Make sure you're making a right grounded choice. A choice of, uh, a choice that involves love and feelings. Um, logic and rationale also. Give your truth. Be true to you. Be true to you. Be true to who you are. Um... So wish fulfillment is here. The option to move forward. And the sun is here. Uh, what you should be focused on spiritually is being true to yourself. Messenger of air. They bring a message, of course. They bring their truth. They All they offer is their words, their truth, the messenger of air, the, or the knight of, of swords. So you got to be true to you. You know, say your, speak your truth. It's like a, some people are hiding behind something or not wanting to make a decision, but the towers here may help you make that decision, get some wish fulfillment. You can move, you know, some of you are physically moving waiting for a payout or equality you can drop burden move forward yeah some of you are moving you got two moving cards I'm trying to weigh up decisions as to to move or something like that all right aries where are we at 17 minutes okay two cards of advice and then we're out of here this will go from april mid-april to early May. Sentimental feelings, finances, definitely. Sentimental feelings. Some of you are you have feelings invested in a situation with that seven of earth. But you can walk away. This isn't emotions. This isn't love. This isn't ooey gooey. I'm just head over heels. I can't move. I'm stuck. I'm starry eyed. This is sentimental feelings. This is Mm, yeah, it's it's just, it's that feeling you have about. I like Starbucks, but the only coffee house near me right now is Dunkin' Donuts. You know my sentiment and what I like and how I you know and what I'm used to is with Starbucks, but of course. 
I'll take some Dunkin' Donuts. You know, it's it's like my feelings are elsewhere. I love or I have invested somewhere, but I'm okay with moving away from. But I still like Starbucks, but I'll still have Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know if that analogy or that kind of like little example confused the hell out of you, but what I'm trying to say is you're invested, but you're not. It's like you dipped your toe into it. It's like, mm, I like it. You know, I've been with it for years. This could be about a job. It could be about a relationship, romantic or other um, but with sentimental feelings, you know, this is easy to walk away, shit, because it's like, it's not like, if this, because there's a card, it says emotions, if emotions had come up, that's just, you know, you're invested, like, your mental, your physical, soul connection, a tie is there, sentimental feelings is like, you know, shoot, I like hamburgers, but all y'all got is hot dogs. I guess I'll take a hot dog. You know? <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, I, I really like hamburgers, but because I'll just have this hot dog and be quiet. Because I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know. I really feel like that's y'all energy. Like, you know, you just going along to go along. You're invested, but not fully. Moving away from is completely okay with you. Maybe because finances are an issue, there might be financial gain here. There might be financial loss. Finances are an issue here. Um, they're highlighted for you. You're definitely financially um, focused. Uh, and maybe that's why everything else is coming up as sentimental. Like, yeah, you know, great. But... If anything, I'm truly invested here with my finances, you know. So, I don't know. Request a personal reading. Um, follow me on Instago. Uh, I've been having some issues with Instago as far as tech, uh, technological issues. Is that, yeah. Like, I don't know. You can follow me on Instago. I, I will respond. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes with that. Uh, follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Follow me. Um, choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. What else can you do? Subscribe to the channel. Like, like, like this. Like this, please. And comment, comment. The comments aren't just for me. They're for other Aries or other individuals viewing the video who might be going through the same exact thing as you, which would be so peculiar. It would be so, like, you know, it'll raise an eyebrow for you and it'll make you feel a little bit better about your situation because you're like well hell someone else is going through hell too great um so anyhow guys you know what i always say when in doubt pray i'm praying for you guys pray for me as well take care until next time i'm gonna try to do some more little fun spreads i've got some my time is easing up a bit uh so anyhow Bye, guys. Until next time.